asked uh, a question uh, regarding smoking. Now, she said, is it haram or, and I like the next phrase, and this is why I wrote it down, just disliked, Sheikh. So what is it, just disliked or haram? Uh, usually, you hear from me that smoking is definitely prohibited. Mm-hmm. And it's prohibition, not just like the prohibition of uh, drinking, it's even worse. Worse in what sense? Number one, it is prohibited because it is amongst al khabaith the evil acts. And it is very harmful. And it has no benefit whatsoever in it. And that is the same reason why Allah prohibited intoxicants. And why is it more prohibited than drinking? Because its harm is extended to others. What we call it the second hand smokers. Mm. People who happen to be sitting in a place where somebody is smoking uh, at work or at home. And they end up having themselves cancer due to smoking unwillingly. Mm. Such people have been hurt because of the evil doing of others. While the Prophet ﷺ said, لا ضرر ولا ضرار Harm should not be inflicted nor reciprocated. You should not harm yourself, nor should you cause any harm to others. Uh, smoking is definitely a waste of money, and it ruins your health for those who would like more detail, they can search the web to find the rate of those who die annually Mm -hmm. due to smoking. Mm -hmm. And if you'd like to have a physical evidence, look at the countries which actually started this myth, smoking. Now, gradually, they started banning smoking everywhere. In restaurants, at work. The only place you can smoke now is hidden in your own bathroom, uh, at home. But you cannot uh, smoke in public because they're taking care of the health of their people. While they're exporting, of course, this toxic and these poisons to our countries, where in most of our countries we don't have a firm and a strong law to ban that. Including when we go to perform Hajj and Umrah. It is very sad. It breaks my heart. And I feel miserable when I see somebody who's wearing ihram and is smoking within the boundaries of the haram, not far away from the entrance of the masjid and the Kaaba. Uh, what's even more worse during the day of Arafah, when you see people supposedly there to ask Allah for mercy, to forgive them their sins, but they can never stop smoking. They can never stop challenging Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wasting their money and ruining their health. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, Ni'matani maghbunun fihima kathirun min al-nas. The word ghubn or ghabn means to be wronged, to be oppressed, not to be treated justly. And it's normally in trade, in selling and buying. Many people actually lose a great portion of their leisure time and of their health without realizing that these two gifts are amongst the greatest gifts that Allah bestowed upon the person. So, whenever 20 years pass of smoking and then he's very sick, has a lung can- cancer, or whatever, then he would wish that he would go back to stop smoking or uh, avoid smoking completely. Uh, also, it is worth of mentioning here, I attended a very interesting conversation between two kids, five and six years old, where somebody, one of them, the younger was seeing somebody smoking, said, you man smoking is haram, and it is harmful, you should stop smoking. So the other kid said to him, yeah, you're right, smoking is bad, but it's only bad for kids, not for adults. So the younger kid looked at him and said, and why is that? All of that and I was listening. It was a very interesting conversation. He said, because my dad sometimes smoke. So basically, dad was teaching his son because he's smoking. He said, it is bad for kids, but it is okay for adults. What do you expect from this kid? One day once he reaches an age where he can buy a cigarette, or he can smoke, he will not hesitate. Because now smoking has become become a sign of adulthood, Mm. become a sign of growing up. 
So what kind of signal we're giving to our children? What kind of message we are delivering to our Muslim families? Brothers and sisters, this is not the opinion of uh, Sheikh Muhammad alone. This is opinion of the great muftis, and it is concluded from both the Qur'an and the Sunnah. Smoking is definitely prohibited. Jazakallah <laughs>